In this video, we're going to look at rare and valuable stake quarters that you should be looking for in your pocket change. All that and more coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Couch Collectibles where we do giveaways every single week. Make sure you guys are subscribed to weekly giveaways every Sunday night on the live stream. So make sure you guys click that bell. It will notify you when I go live and when I upload a regular video. Don't forget to go subscribe to my second channel, Couch Collectibles Live. We're going to start transitioning all the live streams over there. It's going to be nothing but a live stream coin roll hunting channel. This channel is going to be all the regular uploads like the one you're watching right now. Possibly some metal detecting in the future. I don't know. What else do you guys want to see? Put it down in the comments right now what do you want to see on this channel so without further ado guys let's just hop into this video and check out this first quarter all right so pretty self-explanatory here this is a 2000 new hampshire state quarter that was struck off center so if you come across something like this you definitely want to hold on to it this coin here sold for over 150 dollars next up is another new hampshire state quarter this is extremely off-center, as you can tell there in the image display. Now, this one here sold for a little over $195. Moving on to another New Hampshire State Quarter. Now, this has not got the highest grade. It's at an AU55, so lower on the grading scale, but it does have an error, which is that the coin has been double-struck. It does have a little bit of damage, so that does devalue it a little bit, but this coin still sold for over $310. I don't know about you guys, but if I find a quarter and I could sell it for over $300, that is a good day for me. Moving on to another state quarter. Now this quarter here has an error that is double struck, rotated, and collar. So if you take Washington's head and you put it straight up and you flip it over, you should see the design perfectly aligned on the back as well as on the front. However, on this quarter, it is rotated in collar and that's what gives it a little bit of value. This coin here sold for over $320. Moving on to another New Hampshire state quarter. Now this is the last New Hampshire state quarter of this video. We got some other state quarters to show you here in just a second. This is double struck with the second strike being 40% off center. Now this coin here sold for over $350. Moving on to a North Carolina state quarter. Now this is graded at a pretty decent grade, Men's State 63. Now there's uh, a bunch of different strikes and off centers going here on this North Carolina state quarter. And that's why this coin sold for over $550. Next up is a New York state quarter. Now, obviously, the whole design of the quarter couldn't fit on this coin, and that's because this coin was actually struck on a dime planchet. So if you guys are not familiar with the word planchet, it just means that this coin essentially was struck on what should have been a dime. However, a quarter design was struck on it, and that is what gives it value. That's why it sold for over $5,700. Next up is another state quarter. This is an Indiana state quarter that was also struck on a 10 cent planchet. And believe it or not, this thing sold for over $4,000. Hey guys, let me know in the comments below right now, what kind of video do you want to see next? What type of coin video do you want to see? Let me know right now in the comments below. And don't forget to click that bell. It will notify you when I go live or when I upload a video. That way you guys can be the first one in on the live chat or the first comment, first like. So until the live stream tonight, that will be at 10.30 p.m. East Coast time. I will see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.